It's about eight or nine years ago. I was with my brother and a friend of ours, and we were taking this kind of half-formed idea around about a secret society of explorers, and we presented it as a like a return to the old classic high adventure story. And we were lucky enough to get to put it in front of Kevin because he, he was a fan of the same sort of old books that we love, and we both love the idea of these hidden places in the world and these secret histories and the collaboration kind of took off from there. John was a driving force behind Explorers Guild. But that was one of the real joys for me was every few weeks to get more of John's words to illustrate. When I'm asked you know, about the balance of graphics and text, I always wanted to make the art not something just sort of or ornamental or additional. You know, I didn't want it on a separate track, like something that you could, if you wanted to, you could look at it, but you could kind of skip through it. I really felt like the story should go through the art, which meant panels of some kind. None of this was, was sort of game plan from the beginning. It, was, it really had to do with just that three-way interaction and how that evolved and, and finally cemented itself in a look. I've watched a lot of collaborations and very, I haven't seen very often where it's almost an alter ego, the way that you guys were able to, to, to work. But I think one of the more interesting things about the writing, about the story, was actually the hiring of Rick, which, which was we found him in the want ads. So out there, people are thinking, how am I ever going to get into a great collaboration? Read the want ads. <laughs> Go to Craigslist. You do this stuff. You, this is how you end yeah. up making a, 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 a book. I think the work really will stand the test of time. It was always my hope that this book could take its place on the shelf next to the great classics that we grew up with.